in 2021 in CLL and many countries where um, the targeted drugs as BTK inhibitors as well as BCL2 inhibitors are approved and also reimbursed. Um, we have for patients, particularly with high risk features, including patients with TP53C mutation or aberration, as well as patients with unmutated IGBE status, um, the choice between continuous duration um, treatment with a BTK inhibitor versus um, time limited treatment with a BCL2 inhibitor in combination with a CD20 antibody. Uh, there are different pros and cons for each of these therapies. And I think that's the task right now for every physician to discuss with the patient which of those two treatment options is the optimal one, depending not only on the risk factors, um, where, we see, where we see this is a, maybe some disadvantage with respect to shorter time to relapse with time treatment, but having the option of retreatment there on the other hand, um, and on the other hand, um, also um, the choice between continuous treatment, therefore cumulative side effects um, on the one hand side with continuous BTK inhibitors, on the other side for these substances, um, the very good handling um, with only few physician contacts while we have the ramp up period with um, the BCL2 inhibitors um, at the beginning and therefore many contacts um, with, um, with the physician and therefore also more frequent visits at the hospital. So this might be a um, play particularly a role in patients who have not so easy access to the next um, um, hematologist um, or to the next center. Um, with um, respect to other criteria, which one is, which of these treatments is really more efficacious and which was the best one, we did have to admit we don't know yet. In particular, right now with the upcoming double combination of PTK inhibitor plus venetoplax, given this time limited therapy, um, the question is also here open. Once this combination is approved, is this better? then continuous treatment with BTK inhibitor or um, BCL2 inhibitor plus CD20 antibody. Um, this, address, um, this question will be addressed in the CL17 trial by the German study group, but I think we will need a couple of years until we have the answer from this trial, um, as well as maybe from other trials as um, from the UK group. 